Hey, bikeaholics, Ryan Erlocker here, lawbitingbiker.com. Just doing a quick live. If you're watching this, you're up late like me. Worked a full day at the, uh, full week at the Leo job. Uh, got off on time at least about six o'clock tonight, but I am in the process of getting ready um, for a trip. And all you patrons uh, out there know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, gonna be doing a cross country road trip. So it's interesting because I'm here alone, which is rare in the law-abiding biker uh, shop. Usually we're filming stuff. It's crunch time, so I wasn't able to film this. And I'm actually, uh, I've been pushing it, my rear brake pads. Literally, I'm out here trying to get this done. Uh, I gotta change out my rear brake pads before the trip because it's gonna be like a 4,200 mile trip in about nine days. And I'm really excited, looking forward to it. Thanks all you that are checking in there. Oh, that bugger's tight. Oh, there we go. But anyways, I'm changing the rear brake pads because like I say, it's crunch time. Probably pushed them farther than I should have. Hey, Harley Holmes, good to see you, buddy. So I thought I'd just pop a quick live. And uh, like I say, you guys are up late with me, depending on where you are at in the world or country, of course. But, uh, don't worry, we're not filming this one, which is rare because we've been doing this five years and there's pretty much nothing that we don't film. The reason I'm not filming this, again, crunch time, but also we already have a, a uh, if you haven't seen it, I'll link to it later in the description below. Good day from Australia, see, around the world, you never know exactly what time it is and who's watching, so good to see you. Thanks for popping a comment. It's not gonna be a really long live. Um, actually, my battery's kinda of getting low on my iPhone. Um, but the reason I'm not filming this back to what I was saying, which is rare, is, is because we already have that really popular video. Don't pay a dealership, guys. Um, there is no reason to pay a dealership to do uh, brake changes. Uh, you can definitely do it yourself. And like I said, I will try to link to, to this in the description below uh, later um, when I put some comments on this video and stuff like that. So, um, but the, uh, uh, that video's got like 200 and I think 50,000 hits or something like that. I don't remember exactly uh, which year we did that. Uh, but hopefully there's, I don't know if there's any patrons out there. If you are, give a shout out because we're gonna be taking a ride very, very soon. And I uh, got the, uh, if you guys didn't know that, the old paste, look how pretty that is, where the uh, piston, caliper pistons meet up against the non-friction side of the brake pad. Look at those brand new pads. I probably won't be able to get the uh, other ones off in time before my iPhone battery dies. Patron here, I can't, I can't make the ride, yeah. That sucks, we know not everybody can make it all the time, so we, uh, um, you know, maybe next year, depending on where we go, we don't know yet, but uh, I know that we have a ton of patrons. It's hard to work and talk to you guys if you wondered, I'm kind of stalled here, but um, uh, we got like, I think 20 to 25 patrons. Gary Jackson, hey Ryan, just one working dispatch and happened to see you pop on. Rock on Gary Jackson, thanks for, he says, thanks for all you do, you betcha man. Appreciate you guys. Harley Holmes, be there in spirit. Yeah, Harley, I appreciate it. I know a lot of uh, people will be there in spirit, so. I'm gonna have to jockey this thing. I always have to do this when I'm doing these brake pads. But yeah, I know a lot of you guys will be there in spirit and uh, appreciate that. But it's gonna be a big turnout. Our one in Canada last year, our patron meetup was really awesome. Um, and there was a lot of guys there, but uh, each year it's getting just a little bit bigger. And uh, this year looks like it'll be our biggest turnout yet. We have a day ride and all that kind of stuff planned. So anyways, if you guys uh, have any, want to pop any questions or anything, like I said, I don't know that I'm going to be able to get this completely done uh, before you guys, uh, before my battery dies. And of course, oh, that's why I've got that tied off. Got some extra equipment on this bad boy. I've got to clip something here. Because we've got so, so much extra stuff on my bike from installing over the years. 
it's not going to want to let me remove this caliper. But if you guys don't know on your brakes, and like I say, we have that free video on this channel. When you're inspecting your brakes up in here, you can just remove your saddlebag. You don't actually have to. You can actually look up here with a flashlight. I have to inspect them on my police bike all the time because we tend to go through them a little bit quicker. Um, but there's these little tiny lines. And of course you can see them here because I've got the pad facing you. But this is all you'll see when you look up in here because your pads kind of sit up in here like this. And so what you want to look for is these little wear lines is what they're called, okay? And all you'll see is this right here. And you wanna look for those little lines and that's how you can tell whether your brake pads are needing to be replaced. And I can't see any lines right now on the ones that are up in there, which is why I'm out here late at night and prep for this trip. Um, but once those get down or they get close to being gone, you definitely wanna go ahead and uh, replace your brake pads. These are actually, there's different brands of brake pads and stuff, but these, are actually from the dealership. So these are quote unquote Harley, um, or whoever makes them for them and brands them. Hey, Gary Winthrop, hey, what's up, buddy? Thanks for popping a comment there late at night here. But again, those are what you look for. And we show you how to do all this uh, in our video. Put the, the little bit of a pace there so you don't get any squeaking from your uh, uh, caliper pistons and all that kind of stuff. But it's not a, it's not a difficult job, guys. And once you watch our video on the free video on how to do the rears, um, you can do the fronts. The only difference between the front, depending on what bike. Watching from Australia, hey, uh, Joe Moberly, hey, thanks, man, for popping a comment. I appreciate it. But once you guys uh, watch the video and you do this once on your rear, the only difference, especially on touring, is like you have uh, dual calipers up front. So you've got two sides to do on the rear. I've only got the, the one. Um, caliper of course so uh, the fronts are exactly the same and you don't need to drop a wheel you got to push that it says my battery is getting really low which I knew I was running on low battery here uh, but you'll be able to do the front no problem guys um, once you watch the rear it's it's pretty much the same but anyways I probably should uh, before my battery dies get back to this but uh, just want to say out here late at night I appreciate you all you guys support and uh, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. We've got a ton of videos in the works for you guys. Eric McLean, great info. Thanks, man. Uh, live your, love your info. Thanks, Eric McLean. Appreciate that a lot. But make sure you guys are subscribed. Uh, we batch process some podcasts for you guys. So Lurch isn't going to be able to make it. Ride safe. Thank you, William. Uh, Tristan, oh boy. I'm sorry if I mutilate that last name. <laughs> Uh, but Lurch isn't able to make it, but he's going to be staying back. So we'll still be releasing content to you guys, even uh, while I'm on a little trip here. Uh, we'll still get the content out to you guys. A lot of podcasts, a lot of videos in the works and edit. Uh, we'll be coming at you uh, strong this summer as usual, guys. Anyways, before my battery dies, thanks for checking in. Really appreciate it. I'm going to finish this break job uh, so that I can uh, go to bed and get some sleep. Keep up the great vids, Ryan. Thanks. One bad SS. Uh, I'm all great info. Awesome guys. And again, I will link to our actual brake changing video, 250,000 views in the description below later. If not, just search the YouTube channel for brake watching from Jacksonville, Florida. Thanks for another video. Oh, it fades and I missed the name, but anyways, guys, all right. Hope you're well. And I definitely hope you guys are out there getting some riding in. Peace out. Gary Winthrop. Thanks for the live video. Ride safe. You too, buddy. Scott Reed. Love your show. Thanks, man. You guys and this right here, all the comments is the reason uh, we keep going and working hard for you guys. All right, peace.